Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, it's Monday, so that means it's back to work. Well, I mean, Sunday for me still, but uh, I haven't had much of a Sunday to begin with. Um, yeah, kind of a crummy Sunday, but yeah, I ended up waking up like 1 o'clock, and I never do that. Um, and that was embarrassing, because I don't like... It's probably 11 o'clock, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, but... Yeah, it's been basically just sat around the whole weekend playing games. Um, I feel like that's all I do anymore. Uh, <laughs> sadly, trying not to, trying that not to be that case, but I'm trying to balance everything, which um, it's kind of hard to do, um, especially at this age because you have so much going on. It's just it's hard to balance things like between family, uh, friends. Uh, marriage and work and youtube stuff uh and your you know your own free time um it's kind of hard to balance i'm trying to make it work um i'm hoping i can uh i haven't got to see my mom much um for the last couple of weeks so i'm gonna try to see her sometime at least because i feel like she needs someone um i guess <laughs> i don't know i don't know i, I worry about her like I, I, yeah, I weren't been worrying a lot about things like that. Like I've been worried about my mom like nonstop, and uh, I meant to go see her this weekend, but I didn't. Um, it's my fault. Um, I need to though. I need to. I don't want to end up being how it was with my stepdad and not being there all the time until it was too late. I don't want that to happen. And I know she's trying to keep herself busy quite a bit. She she buries herself in uh, work. Like, right now she's getting back into making candies and pies and all this stuff. Uh, and she's not taking care of herself, like the whole sugar thing. She, she won't take her, she won't take care of herself. It scares me because, you know, diabetes is bad. Um... Uh, I just worry about that, you know, like, I know what depression does, like, it makes you not want to do things that you're supposed to do, uh, it makes you not interested in things, it makes you hide away from people because you think they're, that you are a burden to them, you're just going to bring them down, I understand that, I'm sure you guys understand that, I'm sure you've been in that situation, um, I, I was, I was scared, I wasn't going to get a daily bits out this morning, honestly, or the uh, the the bit, short bits, so I'm trying to do one of those every day too, and just trying to find some time. Uh, my wife, she's sick right now. Um, think think it's just allergies, so um, I could done a whole lot, do a whole lot better, and trying to take care of her. Um, just trying to, just, yeah, I'm not perfect, but I'm trying. I'm not ignoring her either. It's just. I've been trying to do what I can. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of down today. I'm sorry. I'm really down. I'm just questioning myself like nonstop, and I fucking hate it. Like I, I hate questioning myself. It sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to get the words to say anything because it's just like my head is just so cluttered with bullshit that it just makes me feel awful um but i i'm, I'm going to turn it around i'm going to turn it around they it's probably just it's probably just a medicine uh because we started adding seracol to it so i mean it's probably just an adjustment on that it's probably causing the problems but uh, I'd say after a couple weeks it should clear up, or by the time I go see the nurse practitioner or whatever she was to do the medications, maybe she can sort things out a little bit. I, I don't, I don't want to completely blame it on mental health because I kind of feel like that's a crutch that I use. Like I feel like that's a crutch on my part, and I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Should never be a crutch. Um, and it's just, it's just the way I feel. I feel like maybe some people be like. Uh, here you go with your mental health shit. There you go. There you are, you piece of shit. I'm sure you guys don't think that. I'm just, I'm just down, just down. Uh, 
at least I got to talk to her this weekend, which was good. Um, I told her I'll try to come, come see her this week. Like I, like I, I care about my, I, I care a lot about my family and my friends and my wife and everything. And, um, and I can only That's be, what the hell? Life. I, I can only be at one place at one time, and I'm trying to overextend things. I'm still trying to uh, repair relationships with friends, uh, which that's hard on its own, because, you know, it's just like, well, I mean, right now it just feels like everything's, like, the way it was before, like, before, after I fell off everything, and we're just playing games and goofing off and all that stuff. And part of me is still like, man, I'm still just a sad person, and I don't know why people, why they give me a chance. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm giving my, I'm making myself seem like a victim, and I don't want that. I don't fucking want that because I'm not a victim. Um, it's just in my head. I just feel like it. You know, this is my fault. I should be able to do all these things is that I can't. I can't stretch myself the way I want to. Uh, I wish there was multiple versions of me just hanging out so I can make everybody happy, but I can't. So. I just don't want to regret it. I don't want to regret like not being there for people. I don't want to regret I don't want to regret not being there for my wife. Uh, for my mom, my family, my friends, and all that stuff, um, and you guys, I don't want to regret that, uh, you know, this is very important to me, it's why I do it every day, um, it's just, it's just crazy, it's just crazy, and, and it kind of took me back, took me back a little bit, like, uh, when Chad Yu, uh, was going to fight Chili at the Ashland Arm Armory, and as this YouTuber I've never met before, he's actually in my area. Uh, it goes by Jeebus Crisp, and he was, he's kind of like on the auditor side of the thing. But he didn't even know me, and he handed me a stone, says success, and I keep this stone right on my desk where I can see it. It stays there, it stays there. Every time I hop on his computer, I look down. It's like that's really nice. That's a nice sentiment. That's something to. Uh, work towards and strive towards. Um, so I'm going to keep pushing myself. Um, going to keep doing that. I got the uh, got some big things. I'm hoping uh, in the next couple weeks to hear from. Um, one would be really life changing, um, but I don't want to put all hopes in it. So if you guys care, don't care, uh, it's for uh, a way to elevate myself, not just financially, but uh more and more of a care well not caregiver what what am i trying to say provider i want to be a better provider i want to do better i don't want to i want to do better okay and i hope to god like this thing that i'm wanting happens because it'd just be amazing i hope i hope uh you know we keep seeing the butterfly not butterflies but fireflies Usually that's good luck, so maybe something's going to happen. Uh, other than that, guys, I love you very much. Um, I will, unless something happens, I will be on Tuesday from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock on the stream. Uh, if something happens, I will I will let you know. Um, I've been thinking I was ready to stream, and apparently I'm not. And I got a lot of things, you know, I'm trying to balance. So I, 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 I'm pretty sure I'll be on Tuesday and Thursday. So I'll see you guys soon.